Uh, no, I looked at the website. I looked at what his schedule is going to be every day of the week. And it's, it's cooking classes, one-on-one -on -one nutritional counseling, mixed martial arts, gym, equine therapy. He gets to ride horses, yoga, meditation. He has gym access. He can get beach access. If he's on good behavior, he can get television access. How is that punishment in any form for killing four people? I'm not interested in how much punishment he gets. I'm interested in taking away things that are important to him and replacing them with things that are in his best interest. I mean, you work with criminal defense attorneys all the time. You testify in court. It is, it's a big part of, of what you do. You're concerned about the justice system. You live in this community. Is this justice? I mean, I, I know the, maybe the kid won't have his Xbox, but I'd love to go to a facility for a year and do meditation and yoga and learn cooking skills and have one-on-one -on -one nutritional counseling and ride horses. You know, that sounds great to the man who has lost his wife and his daughter and sees this young man who killed, who has ruined his life, has killed his wife, has killed his daughter, has killed two other people as well, ruined the lives of a number of other people as well. What consequence, what consequence is there really for him killing four people? For 10 years, the judge will have the discretion at any time she chooses to send this kid to the penitentiary. But this same judge sentenced a 14-year-old, uh, not affluent African-American, child, young man, who killed one person after punching that person and they fell down and hit their head, this judge sent that 14-year-old to the Texas Juvenile Justice Department for 10 years. And that kid is going to be in there till they're 19 years old. And if they violate their rehab program while in they're in there, they may go to the adult justice system. So why is that okay for a 14-year-old poor kid, but for a 16-year-old well-off kid, they get to go have equine therapy. Does that seem fair? Uh, there actually are uh, black people who have money, Anderson. I don't know why you continue to make this a racial thing there. Well, because I I'm, think I'm, I'm not saying black people don't have money. I'm I treat saying, all races. Well, I'm saying this judge previously, just very recently, sentenced a 14-year-old who did not have money to the Texas juvenile justice system for killing one person for yeah. 10 years. So. You're telling me that there are... Yeah, I, I trust that judge, and I don't know what the conditions were, Anderson. Mm -hmm. you, so you, do you don't believe that there's a separate system, that this is a, a, a prime example, that there's a separate system of justice if you have money? I, I, I don't agree with you on that, of course. I do believe that just like you and I talked yesterday, if you have a lot of money, you get people with more skills. You get a better singer. We have you tonight. I'm sure that, you know, you make more than the local guy here. That's just the way the world works. And, I, and, and there's some good things about that, some not so good things.